Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. I'm a chef on a mission. Today's mission is business, right, Jamie? It sure is. But first off, you know, I've had a couple comments. Marcus, you're always in like a workout, right? You're always in like a running shirt. You're always in like a workout, you know, outfit, and you're making these videos. That's because, Jamie, because we believe or we feel, we actually know that working out and being healthy is part of being successful in business, isn't it? Sure is. You know, you've got to, um, you've got to sharpen your body, and you've got to sharpen your mind, and it's all connected. So that's why a lot of times I'm on these videos and I have tons of energy because I'm just a high energetic person to begin with, and then I eat right, and I exercise on top of it, and I'm just full of energy, and people can see that. So that's why I'm in uh, in running shirts a lot of times, or in workout shirts, and Jamie's in her running gear over there at the other uh, her desk. So we're both ready to to energize today. And I haven't gone out to run yet, but I'm getting ready to because it was 10 degrees this morning, and it's still uh, oh, end of March. It's spring, officially spring, and it's 10 degrees here in New York. So I'm waiting for the weather to warm up. And um, another comment, Jamie, that we uh, that we've that we've come across is people are like, you should do a business video on Mondays. Yes. So that's what we're going to try to stick to, a business video on Mondays. I did a Food Fraud Friday um, just last week. Um, so I'm thinking about doing Food Fraud Fridays and a business video on Monday to launch uh, you and your business on thinking about what's going on that week. So Jamie and I just went to uh, went away to a wedding, went to Florida. Ah, uh, yes, warmth, 88 degrees and sunny. And Jamie, what did we encounter? We, you know, we try to visit a lot of places when we go away. What did we encounter? So we had a few, a few different experiences. Um, which one should we start with? Um, let's talk about Chubbs in Key Largo. Okay, let's talk about Chubbs. I, it's a sandwich shop, right? It's a it, wings. Chubbs Pizza and Wings, I think is what wings it's called. Wings and Pizzas. Or, or Subs, Subs and Wings. Or subs and like Wings. That, yes. And they're like merging with another person who's doing all health conscious All health conscious food. foods. Which was awesome. We got it was a, quinoa, a great find. Great find. We got great a quinoa find. wrap. The food was really good. They make their own veggie burgers, um, juices, and smoothies. smoothies yeah. So it's kind of like an oxymoron because one side of the building, one side of the windows is is wings, right? Wings and sandwiches and subs. Subs, yeah. And the other side is health, and it's like you know, feel good and 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 energize, and so the two were like really not jiving. Which I had no complaints about that. They were offering something for everyone. For, and that was exactly what she said to me. We're offering something for everyone. Which is great because a lot of people aren't interested in health. And, you know, and if you go with a party of four people or two people and somebody wants a healthy smoothie and a whole wheat wrap and another person wants just wings, right? Give it to them, right? And they were, they were able to do that. That's what we do at our restaurant. Um, we have wings and we have all this healthy food. And, and of course, our wings are come, come from a free range or more ethical sustainable source however they're doing the health and the non-health which is great we spent seventy dollars right jamie we did we spent a nice amount of money there four of us jamie four and of i us for lunch and, our, and courtney and justin our two kids here's what gets me after we spend 70 bucks you can tell the lady's not a business person right you can just tell the staff wasn't trained the staff didn't embrace her menu yet the menu yet i don't Not know how how soon they merged i don't know the time frame in terms of merging but the server obviously didn't know very much about the smoothies and the juices and right. all of that stuff. she had to keep walking back inside to ask questions and originally the owner came out and, and she had she, a great vibe, great vibe. And she explained to us what was going on. We were like, yeah, this is awesome, great, fine. And let me send so-and-so out to take your order, right? And so-and-so came out taking the order unsupervised, which she, she had, should have been... She had no idea. She had no idea what was on the menu, so it just wasn't embraced. That, that was the big first mistake. But here's what really kills me. You business owners are so short-sighted on on every single dollar that goes into your register, right? We have a we we travel with a blender. In the morning we were going to the airport and we wanted to get big plastic to go cups so we could take our smoothies with us on the road to the airport, right? And what actually brought us in there was we wanted to find out if what time they were open in the morning. In the morning because we heard that they did smoothies. Right. There. 
So we originally went in and saying, we want smoothies for the morning, what time do you open? And she explained, we don't, we're not open that early, this and that. So then we sat down and had lunch. I was actually in the grocery store buying frozen fruit for our smoothies at, right. in the restaurant, uh, in our, for our hotel room. And you called me, Jamie, and said, we're going to stay here for lunch. Yeah, and I said, okay, cool, great find. <clears throat> so after all that great conversation with the owner, we ordered $70 worth of food at and this is, we're ordering wraps, okay? We're ordering veggie wraps, wraps, smoothies, Jeez, 70 juice. bucks for four people for lunch. That's kind of a high ticket, you know, for a quick lunch. <clears throat> you go inside, Jamie, and what do you say to her? I asked if we, if it would be possible for us to take four to-go cups um, so that in the morning we could put our smoothie in our to-go cups and take it to the airport with us. And she... Plastic she, disposable plastic cups. Plastic disposables. She immediately kind of turned to the other guy, I'm assuming it was Chubb, and said, well, they're really expensive. And um, and she said, well, I'm going to have to charge you for it. And I thought, really? <laughs> for four cups? <laughs> so we spend 70 bucks. We're getting four plastic to-go cups. We originally came in there to get smoothies from her, which we couldn't get in the morning because she's not open. And she's now charging us an extra dollar for four disposable plastic cups. How expensive are those? Isn't that part of doing business? She said, well, they're very expensive and they're compostable. <laughs> Which is great that they're compostable. Right. We buy all compostable stuff here at our restaurant. And if somebody wants something, we give it to them. Am I going to um, charge them for a cup to go? For a cup to go, that's part, that's part of doing business. What if what if we had half of our wraps left, right? right. What if we had half of our wraps and we wanted to go containers? Right. What would she have said to us? Right. You know, it's sort of the same equivalent. We just, it's not like we walked in. If we would have walked in off the streets. Not buying anything. Not buying anything. I, the first thing I would have said was, can I buy some plastic cups from you? Right. Right? But $70 later, don't. Don't make me feel that they're compostable, expensive stuff. A better way to handle it was obviously just give them to us, but she said, oh, these are compostables. Just so you know, you can throw them in. If you're around a compostable bin, they're great to go into a compostable bin because they're compostable. That would have been a great way. And we were like, oh, yeah, awesome. She gave us these awesome compostable cups and this and that, and she was great. But now, you know, we're now back home, and we have friends that live, this is in Key Largo, we have friends that live there, and next time we go back there, because we are going to go back there, because we do go to Florida once a year, um, chances are we're not going to go back there. Just to the fact of because you left a sour taste in our mouth of a dollar, of a lousy dollar on top of a $70 check check from us of quick, simple lunch items. It's just, and these things happen like all the time in restaurants um, and stores. People don't understand that... <laughs> Is it worth that extra 50 cents, worth that extra dollar? We like to say, Jamie, give them the pickle, right? Give them the pickle. You know, when you price a burger out at your restaurant, to do all these add-ons makes the customer so frustrated. Just give them a price, whether it's 12 bucks, 18 bucks, nine bucks. Let them know they can have, okay, so there's a certain extent where you can't just add everything onto a burger, right? But price the burger out as a bacon cheeseburger, right? Give them, so they know, hey, it's eight bucks, I'm gonna get all this on it. We flew Spirit Airlines, Jamie. Unfortunately, we did. we did not again, not again. They look cheap when you go on, looks like a great deal. And we did save a lot of money compared to what we did. But their whole system is, is they bill you for everything. They bill you to, for you to pick a seat. They assign you a seat, right? But if you want to sit with your family and you want to get assigned sit and you want to assign yourself to seats, you have to pay for that. A carry on bag, you have to pay for an under bag. You have to pay for it's like thirty five bucks, thirty six bucks. How, how much to get a seat, Jamie? Uh, Eighteen for a window, and I want to say ten or fifteen for an aisle. Or it's a just middle these seat. leave bad tastes on the customer's mouth, or uh, in their mind. It's just a bad taste to leave all these extra add-ons. Just know what they're going to do, and you know, and everybody in line is spirit, Jamie. First of all, their computer system both times leaving and coming was not working. Their computer system was not working. Okay, it just and then the, we checked. We paid for our seats. Our, we paid for our bags. We paid for everything online. And even on our tickets, when you printed them, it said, "For um, congratulations, you have fast drop." <laughs> fast drop, quick bag, bag check, check, right? Yeah. The quick bag check line was minutes. out the door. <laughs> 
and down two doors, three doors at the airport. We walk there and we're like, oh my gosh, we're looking like the line's way back there. And we're and we go up and we go, where the quick bag check? And she goes, that's the quick bag check. <laughs> and we're like, what? Everybody in line was complaining, bitching, moaning, and everybody in line said they're never going to use Spirit Airlines again. It's because you people just, just give the customer a quality experience and don't nickel and dime them. You know, we would have paid a hundred bucks more a ticket knowing that our bags were covered, that our seats were covered. That, that would have been the easy thing. But you get people in your door the first time, right? And then you don't know how to make them happy and keep them coming back. And you don't know how to, how to really let them go out and be raving fans. Meantime, our friends flew JetBlue because we're all going to the same way. Our friends flew JetBlue. They had the same delay that we did, right, Jamie? They, they had a delay just like out. we had a delay. JetBlue gave them $100 credit. And we're sitting there with the same, same amount of delay, with no credit, frustrated, they're overbooked and everything. And our friends said, came back, oh, we got a $100 credit, each of us, because we were on a two and a half hour delay. And we're like, really? And they didn't pay much more than we did, and we're not of a smaller airport. So it's just like, if it's you're- It's not worth it sometimes. It's not worth it. If you're a business owner, don't nickel and dime people. Give them a good experience, let them be raving fans. And uh, you know, you guys know the right thing to do. You know the right thing to do. Picture yourself, put yourself in, your guests' shoes and say, is it worth it to charge a dollar after they just spent 70 bucks? No, it's not. So think before you charge for everything. Give them the pickle, just give them the pickle. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit like, subscribe to my channel, and uh, leave a comment. Thanks for watching.